Okay, all right, so now today is uh, video is gonna be a little bit experimental because I'm trying to improve the audio quality. So um, it's either gonna work spectacularly or I'm gonna fall on my face. So, well, either way, let's give it a try, okay? So, all right, now, this is unit three, lesson one, all right? And we're talking about rounding decimals. Okay, so now uh, let's see this. What is it? What is this lesson about? So some decimals terminate. Terminate means ending. So for example, an, a terminating decimal would be like 0 0.2. That terminates, 0 0.22, that terminates, 0 0.437, that terminates, and then you got something that goes on forever. All right, and you will see that when you do long division, right? Uh, or converting from fractions to decimals. You might see something like this. And then forever and ever, okay? So that's what we're talking about here. So how do we round, right? That's the question. So we're gonna round. So, oh, by the way, so this is the system, right? Let's go back up. So this is the system. Here we have our decimal point. To the right, the numbers get larger and larger, so that's why it's this whole part here. I'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to see that. All right, here's the decimal part, which means they get smaller and smaller. So for the, for the, now remember, there's always only one ones. Okay, so going to the right of the decimal point, you got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, right? And to the left, as you get larger and larger, you get ones, again, the origin point, so to speak. You got tens, hundreds, thousands, okay? All right, now let's take a look at number one. Example one, round 0 0.357 to the nearest tenth. So here's a, here's a strategy that I would ask that you uh, employ when you do, when you round is, especially at the beginning, if you round to the nearest tenth, put a underline where the tenth place is, which is right here. All right, and then you look before that, the number behind you, that's a five, so what does that mean? All right, so five or higher, you round that up. So what does that do to 0 0.3 here? That's right, it becomes 0 0.4, okay? Now, same thing, uh, round 0 0.089 to the nearest hundredths, same strategy where the hundredths, so tens, hundredths, that's the underline, draw an arrow so that you look at the number before that, that's a nine, so what does that tell you? Right, 0 0.09. So in other words, uh, rounding, it's about truncating a number. The word truncate is to shorten, okay? All right, it's about truncating a number so that you can, what, how should I say it? I'm, now I'm telling you the why actually. Okay, so why are we doing this? So because to truncate something is to cut something off from the back. So you're making a decimal smaller, okay? Shorter, actually I'm not, I don't mean smaller, I mean shorter so that it's easier to read. Okay, because if it gets too long, again, the word I like to use is cumbersome. It gets too cumbersome to read. Okay, so now round to the nearest tenth, so this is the 10th place. Look at the number before that. Okay, this is not a very accurate marker right now. So what would that turn out? What would 0, 0.0 turn into? That's right, 0 0.1. Okay, the nine here, you round that up. So the zero here becomes a one, all right? Uh, round to nearest hundreds, tens, hundreds. 
Now this one I did on purpose, okay? So here you got tens, hundreds, hundreds. The number before that's a nine now, think about that. If you're gonna round something to this place right here, right? And that's already nine. Now think about this, if I were to give you the same question and I do this, you look at the number before, you will round that to a 0 0.09, right? So the dilemma is, what do I do here? Right, because if that nine goes to the next number, it'll become 10. So what would happen here? Yeah, 0 0.1, okay? Because you can't, like you can round, how do I say it? Um, yeah, exactly. Because you can't just say, oh, that's nine, so I'm just gonna write this as a 10, right? It doesn't work like that. You got, you're just gonna carry over to the next uh, digit, all right, to the right. So that's why that becomes a one. Okay, all right, now, what I'm gonna do, so the question is when are you going to have to round these numbers? Uh, basically every question, okay? Because sometimes you just, like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna write, where you're gonna write these like non-repeating decimals, right? Forever and ever, go on forever, you, you, you really got time for that, right? So sometimes the, the no, always, if you're gonna have a non-repeating decimal like this, non-terminating decimal, you're gonna have to round it off somewhere. And so a lot of times the directions will say round to the nearest tenths, round to the nearest hundreds, round to the nearest thousands, okay? So having said that, Let's try uh, exercise number one, all right, on your own, two and then three, and then uh, pause, and then we'll come back and go over these. Okay, all right, and we're back. So look at this, round to the nearest tenth. So that's tenth, look at the number before, that's a one, so what happens? That's right, now you don't round down, okay? There's no rounding down, you stay the same. So 0 0.1 stays 0 0.1, okay? Uh, round 0 0.357 to the nearest tenth, Tenth, right? So look at number four. What is that? Five or greater, right? So you got to round it up. So zero point four, and lastly, round to the nearest tenth here. That's a good question again, right? Look, what's going on here? You want to round to this place, but the number four is nine, so you got to round up. But this is already nine. So what happens? Think about that. What do you think is going to happen? Because you're you're think about that. You're running out of place here. You're running out of space here. It's already nine, right? It's not, you're going, it's not like you're going from eight to nine. It's already nine, so what's gonna happen? Yeah, this whole thing just becomes 10, okay? Because the, even that's a nine, right? Look here, even that's a nine. So that's really got no other place to go either. So it's like a domino effect. It just keeps going, it just keeps going this way. It keeps falling this way, okay? And these are some more, more slightly more special cases, okay? So, all right. Uh, great, this is less than eight minutes. So I'm gonna stop here. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I hope this really helped you. Okay, all right, bye. Gee, that was so good.